Students, this is NCRT exercise problem 2.33 from the page number 71 of structure of atom. So, let's read the statement. What transition in the hydrogen spectrum would have the same wavelength as the Balmer transition n equal to 4 to n equal to 2 of helium positive spectrum? Okay, so in this question, you have two spectrums. First one is helium positive spectrum and second one is hydrogen spectrum and they are asking you to find the transition of hydrogen spectrum which will have the same wavelength of the Balmer transition that means electron jumps from the fourth orbit to the second orbit right to find the wavelength we will use Rydberg equation over here right so first of all we'll find the wavelength for helium positive spectrum right so the formula will be 1 by lambda equal to r z square 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square right lambda is wavelength right r is Rydberg's constant and z is for sure atomic number of helium atom right so you can write over here for helium atom z equal to atomic number this is atomic number of helium and uh, its value is 2 right now n1 is fourth orbit that means you have to mention the orbit from which electron jumps to the n2 orbit right so n1 equal to 4 and n2 will be 2 over here now put the values so 1 by lambda i'll take r as it is right z is 2 so i'll take square of 2 over here 1 by n1 square that means 4 square minus 1 by n2 square that means 2 square over here right so 1 by lambda equal to r into 2 square will be 4 1 by 4 square 16 minus 1 by 2 square 4 now let's take the lcm over here so 1 by lambda equal to 4 r 16 will be the lcm so 16 divided by 16 it will be 1 1 into 1 1 minus 16 divided by 4 4 4 into 1 4 when you will subtract 4 from 1 it will be minus 3 1 by lambda equal to 4 r into minus 3 by 16 4 1 the 4 4 4 the 16. The relation for helium positive spectrum will be 1 by lambda equal to minus 3 by 4 r. So consider this relation first right. Now we will see the relation for wavelength in case of hydrogen atom right. So you can write over here for hydrogen atom again applying Rydberg's equation. So 1 by lambda equal to r z square 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square right this r is Rydberg's constant lambda is wavelength and z is atomic number so for hydrogen atom the value of z will be 1 so z is atomic number and its value is 1 we have to find the value of n1 and n2 for hydrogen atom, right? So, 1 by lambda equal to r, z's value, it will be 1 square into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square. The final relation will be 1 by lambda equal to r into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square now consider this relation as second one as we know that it is mentioned in the question that hydrogen spectrum wavelength and uh, helium positive spectrum wavelength is same right so you can write over here since lambda is same so equate equation one and 2 so definitely i'll put the value of 1 by lambda in case of helium positive first so it will be minus 3 by 4 r 
equal to now let's put the value of 1 by lambda in case of hydrogen atom so it will be r into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square right i'll cancel this r with this now rearrange the values so 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square equal to minus 3 by 4. We will apply heat and trial method to find the value of n1 and n2, right? So, for heat and trial method, you can write over here, heat and trial. I'll assume the value of n1 equal to 2 and n2 equal to 1 because electron jumps from second orbit to the first orbit. Before putting the value, I'll consider this side as left hand side and this side as right hand side. My target is to make the value of left hand side equal to the value of right hand side, right? On right hand side, I am having minus 3 by 4 and on left hand side, I am having 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square. Now put the value of n1 over here. So 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 1 square because the value of n1 is considered as 2 and the value of n2 is considered as 1, right? Here 1 by 2 square will be 4 minus 1 by 1, right? So I'll take the LCM. 4 into 1, it will be 4. 4 divided by 4 equal to 1. 1 into 1, 1. Minus 4 divided by 1, 4. 4 into 1, it will be 4. So, 1 minus 4, minus 3 by 4. As we know that left hand side is equal to the value of right hand side. So, I can say that in case of hydrogen atom, the transition from second orbit to the first orbit will have the same wavelength, right? So, you can write over here the transition of Lehman series that means n1 equal to 2, 2, n2 equal to 1 in hydrogen spectrum have the same wavelength as Balmer transition n1 equal to 4, 2, n2 equal to 2 of helium positive spectrum.